Welcome to Shooting It Straight with Stan. I'm your host, Stan the Annuity Man. Today's topic is addiction to the market can kill retirement dreams. So addiction, your addiction to following the stock market and investing in the stock market and taking risk with your money can literally kill retirement dreams, especially in these volatile markets. Now, in the raging bull markets that were happening years back and just went straight up, and it, it may do that again. Who the heck knows? Nobody knows. Anyone says they do, they're crazy. But right now it's volatile. I had a call the other day which prompted this topic. I was talking to a couple and they had advisors and I'm sure they're well-intentioned advisors and they've been told the line, you know, if you stay in it for the long haul, it's going to be good. And that's all that's true. All those stats are true. I understand. I used to work for Morgan Stanley, Dean Witter, Payne Weber, UBS, been there, done that, forgotten that. But they had lost like four or five hundred thousand dollars. I mean, it was a lot. That's a lot. If if you have a hundred thousand, you lose fifty. That's a lot. I mean, I've been there. And they were being told, well, just stay the course. Just stay the course. Just historically stay the course. And they give the stats. Well, you know, if you pull out the money now, you know, there's five days, and if you pull out the five days, you're gonna lose all that stuff. But here's the thing: when you are at the finish line for retirement, and I keep hammering this topic in different ways and different formats, and the reason I keep Semi repeating myself, but better each time is because I keep hearing the same thing from my clients and people that are going to be my clients that get me on the phone, schedule call at the annuity man and get me on the phone. They're being told, stay the course. They're being told historical returns. They're being told it's okay. They're being told, hang in there. They're being told, don't watch. They're being told, don't worry. They're being told, don't stress. They're being told, don't lose sleep over it. That's easy and cavalier for someone to say that because it's not their money and it's not their retirement and it's not their plan and it's not their chapter two and it's not what you're trying to achieve, which you are at the retirement finish line and all of a sudden things aren't going north anymore, they're going south. So these market dreams and this market addiction to growth is killing retirement. It's killing people's retirement plans. What I have to ask you is this. What are you chasing? What's the percentage that you're looking for? I want you to know this. If you were a money manager, hedge fund person, private equity guru, master of the universe on Wall Street, and you consistently got 7 or 8% year after year after year after year, they would build a statue for you right beside the bull on Wall Street if you were that person. Yet every single person, I say, what, what type of market returns are you looking for? 7 to 9% consistently. Really? I'm looking for six-pack abs. I haven't seen them yet, and I'm trying like heck. My question to you is, why are you chasing an additional 2 or 3% when you can get 45 and it's getting ready to be 5 at the time of this taping if, if, if interest rates keep moving north? Why are you chasing those extra 2 percentage points or 3 percentage points? Now, if you're a professional trader, go for it. But you have to ask yourself. If you're in your 60s or in your 70s, why are you chasing this? Is this an addiction? Have you been taught to do this? Have you just been fed the line? Well, we all have to go to college and we all have to buy a house and we all have to have kids and we all have to go to church and we all have to be in the markets. No, we don't. We don't have to all be in the markets. Now, if you're in your 40s or early 50s, you're still working. Yes, you've got time. People call me all the time in the 30s and 40s and say, I want to buy a new day. I'm like, I'm hanging up the phone right now. Love you. Mean it. Bang. Stay in the markets. But for people that are transitioning to chapter two of their lives, you've laid it on the line. You put the kids through college. You've paid the house off. You scrimped. You saved. You've done without. You've done the good vacations, but not the vacations you wanted to go on. Now it's time for you. Now it's time to live that there's no U-Hauls behind hearses. Now it's time that it's about you. How is it about you if you're still addicted to the markets? If you're watching CNBC and Fox Business, love them. I've been on those networks, love them. But you have to ask yourself, why are you still doing this? Now, if you enjoy it, and if you're not a golfer and you don't fix up a 56 Corvette and you don't have a garage band, and this is your Jones, this is what you wake up in the morning. This is what really, really interests you and attracts you. The markets and how they work and, and crypto and managed futures and option strategies and all that stuff then go at it. Go for it. I have those clients that they say, hey, I'm 81, Stan. I still love the markets. I'm going to do some annuities over here, but I love I love the up and down. I'm good with it. If that's you, that's fine. But most people out there, the 10,000 baby boomers plus, I think it's 11,000 now, they're hitting age 65 every single day. That's not who you are, is it? Are you listening to your advisor tell you to stay the course because you like them? Who cares if you like them? 
The advisor is not your friend. It's not their money. It's your money. Stay the course for what? Life is fleeting. I don't want to be gloom and doom, but we all are at an age now where we have friends that are passing away unexpectedly, and it's kind of a wake-up call every time it happens. Nod your head. So what are you doing with your money? Are you still chasing market returns? Are you still chasing 7 to 9%? Is it out of proportion? In other words, is it too much of your money doing that? Have you put in the income floor? Have you put in the amounts that are principal protected that you don't have to worry about it? Have you put in a plan in case that you lose cognitive ability, hello, that we're all going to lose some of us sooner than later? Have you put those plans in place for your spouse that could give a rip about markets, that could give a crap about who Jim Cramer is or whoever the person is? I love Jim Cramer. I'm just taller than him. He's envious of my height, of course. He's vertically challenged, but very smart. But your spouse probably doesn't care. Speaking for the lovely Christine, who's been married to the annuity man for 34 years, she could care less at all. All she wants to do is go see the kids and the family and the eventual grandkids. That's all she cares about. She cares about lifestyle. She doesn't care about that. And when we sit down and she allows me to take her out to dinner, she goes, okay, tell me how the plan is when you die. Tell me the plan, Stan. Do you have the plan, Stan? And I do. I do have the plan in place in case I lose my cognitive ability. By the way, if we all live long enough, it's going to happen to most of us. I have the plan in place when, if my Learjet hits the mountain. No, I don't have a Learjet, but I love saying that. When I die, translation, I have that plan in place. I have that plan in place, so it's turnkey for my spouse. Do you have that plan in place, so it's turnkey for your spouse? Or if you die tomorrow... Are you going to leave her option, call options that are open, manage futures and stocks she doesn't give a crap about? And she's going to have to talk to these advisors who are going to say, stay the course, stay the course. Historically, you need to stay the course. Are you going to do that? It's time for you to stop. Stop the nonsense of chasing this. Markets are going to be volatile. My opinion, my prediction, hope I'm wrong going forward. If you haven't noticed, there's a lot of things happening in the world. Do you really want to go south? Do you really want to lose 20%, 10%? But be careful. This is where the bad chicken dinner seminars come in and the index annuity people say, buy this, it's got upfront bonus, your market upside with no downside. That doesn't exist either, okay? Period. I love index annuities, but they're CD products. So if you're getting that sales pitch, well, look at the back-tested numbers. You'd make 11%. Give me a break, okay? You're smarter than that. Don't be the sucker at the table. So is your market addiction ruining your retirement? Is it ruining your plans for retirement? Is it getting in the way? I don't know. Maybe it is. Addiction to the markets can kill your retirement plan. Addictions to anything can kill right? Addictions to alcohol, addictions to drugs, addictions to anything, fill in the blank. And the blank that can be filled in is markets. It can be addicting, addictive, and it can ruin things. So I need to check yourself, as the rapper said, before you wreck yourself. Yeah, look it up. Google it. Don't let your addiction to the markets kill your retirement dreams. My name is Stan the Annuity Man. That's shooting it straight with Stan. See you next time.